Hello there guys, welcome to Thaska channel one more time. This is not Miser and I just want to let you know, tell you how to connect my little Tello drone to my remote control and my Huawei P20 mobile phone with Android. See if I have, uh, if I'm lucky enough to able to connect. Never done this before, so just trying to bring you a value added from a customer perspective, not from an expert, but just from a common guy like me, trying to face the issues like anybody else. So if I can figure out, anybody can. All right, guys, so let's do it. Welcome to Saska channel, the everything channel for everyday people. Simple drone tips for everyone, but not my sir, the rookie pilot. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is to power up this little baby, the drone. So we press the button there. Let's see if it's on. Yes, it's resetting. Okay, now the second thing we're going to do is power up the remote. Uh, it's the GameSir GD1. So the power button is here. Let me see if I can. There, power button, so the LEDs, the, there you go, the blue light, the blue LEDs will come on. They are not, they are flashing, so that tells you they are not, it's not sync to the drone, it's not sync to the phone. So the second thing we're going to do, the third thing is uh, open up the thing, the, uh, the telephone, go to adjustments, to settings. And then go to uh, Bluetooth. Let me see if I can find it here. Bluetooth. Whoa. Bluetooth. Uh, let's see. Bluetooth is says yes, it's connected. So there you go. Let's see if it uh, detects the. That yeah, detects the uh, the game cert TD1D. There you go. So we're just gonna connect probably will tell you you cannot connect because what it says uh, the instructions it says that uh, it will connect via the drone so it will not connect directly to the phone so that's one thing that uh, we have to take uh, into consideration even though it says they're trying to connect this is in Spanish so it says uh, joining uh, it will not join the, uh, the, the the phone you have to go through the to the remote I threw the tello. So, but it's detected. Okay, it says error, error. So I go accept, but it's been detected by the phone. So that's a good sign. So let's go to the tello app. Let's go here to the tello app. Okay, and then let's see if I'm, if I'm lucky enough to, to figure out. So, this has to go to settings. Okay, settings, and then uh, Bluetooth. Okay, it says it's not detecting. So it says how to con how to connect a Bluetooth. So you connect. And it says uh, that's weird because it tells you the first thing is. Uh, turn on the remote, which is turned on. Oh, now it's power off. So let's go turn it on again. Let's uh, turn it on again. Gee, this is more difficult than I thought it was. That it would be. So let's power it on. Okay, it's powered on. It says habilitate or turn on Bluetooth in your phone, which I have done. It says initiate the tel application, tele drone application, which I already have. Okay, and then it says confirm the connection. Okay, but there's no connection, it doesn't show me any connections here. That's weird. So I think, I think the there's no way the this thing will connect to the android it just doesn't work with android it just work with iphones so we're gonna do one more thing 
because I have to change the battery of the drone. Uh, I'm gonna do one more thing. Uh, probably I will turn off my Bluetooth in my iPhone. So make sure it doesn't connect there and change the battery and try again. Okay, okay guys, okie dokie. I power up, power up my Tello again because I changed the battery. I turn off the Bluetooth in the Huawei phone. I have turned off the, the remote and also have turned off the Bluetooth in my iPhone just to make sure. So let's turn this baby up, the Bluetooth. Okay, turn it up, turn it on, sorry. Okay, so it's waiting. And let me turn the remote on like before. There you go. Okay, it's powering up. Let me check. Okay, it's being checked. As you can see, the phone detects the, the remote. Okay, so let's move this baby up a little bit here. And change the phone in here. Here, let me uh, put it in a different place so you guys can see it better. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's uh, go to the Tello app, which is here. Okay. Let's wait. Okay, see if it detects the Bluetooth uh, remote controller. Okay, uh, it's not, uh, the problem is, okay, I see what's going on. All right, so made a mistake, sorry guys. That's what happens when you normally turn and do things for the first time. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, go to adjustments. Go to the uh, Wi-Fi connections. Okay, go to Wi-Fi. Connect to the Pepe Tello, it says connect. All right, so he says now, uh, no, it's not connected. All right, connect. Well, it's not connecting. That's great. <laughs> My goodness, um, let me turn it off. Okay, well, actually it's off, so I don't know why it's off. So let's turn it up, turn it on again. Let's press the button. Okay, it's been turned on, right? Okay, so let's put it back in here. And the remote, and the phone. Let's see now if it detects the Tello. Okay, Pepe Tello, there you go. Go to connect. Okay, now we connect it. Things that you have to deal with it when you do it live, my friends. Okay, so we are connected. So now, let's go to the Tello app. Let's first turn it off. And go back and turn it on. Turn it on. Okay, that's the Tello app. And see if we're lucky. Okay, uh, now we're not lucky because the, the remote has been turned off automatically. So let's power up again. See, we're so lucky, eh, guys. <laughs> I'm doing everything wrong. So hopefully I'll be able to do it right this time. Okay, so it's connected. Okay, because you can see the, the camera. So you see my finger now. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, now let's go to settings. Let's go to configuration Bluetooth. It doesn't detect the uh, the uh, remote. And you go here, how to connect. We've done the same thing. And, uh, does the control is, and control is on. What's, what's going on here? It's been powered off. This is very weird, guys. Oh, no. It's off again. I guess it doesn't like it. Just yes, power off, powers it off when you do that with the Bluetooth. Okay, now it's on again. Let's see. Okay, let's reset the the app. Let's go to here to connections. 
Okay, go back again to Pepe. Where is my Pepe? Hello. Pepe Tello. There you go, you go connect. See, you have to repeat this three, four, five times until you get the hang of it, huh? Okay, it's connected. So you go back again to the Tello app. Well, first of all, yes, go to the Tello. Okay, the baby says it's connected. No problem. Go to settings, then configuration Bluetooth. Same issue. It doesn't detect the the controller. So, and then it turns off the it turns off the uh, the uh, Wi-Fi in the drone. So that tells you one thing that the so we can say that the remote is not supported by the app okay it's not supported by the app and the second thing is you have a bug also in the software or in the app software or in the tele software that uh, I, that uh, every time you uh, try to connect the remote with the Bluetooth after a couple of seconds it will shut off and will turn off the Wi-Fi and you will lose connection so it's not worthwhile trying so there we have it guys Okay, so just to uh, prove uh, that the remote, I have my iPhone, I'm going to try to connect my remote, okay? So we're going to follow the same procedure. Uh, first of all, we're going to turn on the Tello. Where is the Tello button? Home button, here is the Tello button. Okay. It's been powered, okay, so let's put it here. Okay, yes, go to settings, go to, to uh, Bluetooth, it seems like it's off, so let's turn it on. Okay, Bluetooth. Okay, it's on. All right, now let's go to settings, back to settings. Go to Wi-Fi, connect to the drone, to the Pepetello. So see if it connects. Okay, it's connecting. Okay, great. Now the next step is to turn on the 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 remote here. Let's power the remote. Okay, you see it's powered up. Lights are flashing. Now here, let's go to the Tello app. Let's find the Tello app here. Okay, it's here. Let's go to Tello and see what happens here. Okay, Tello app is open. It's connected. You can see the screen. Go to settings. Go to, let's see, Bluetooth. All right, see, and you can see the, uh, it's connecting. Well, actually, it detects the remote, right? So it says disconnected. So the only thing you have to do is press it down so now it's connected all right and see and it's connected so the only thing you have to do is fly the little thingy okay so you have the remote the phone here take the remote and let's go fly this baby so if we press the what you call this the R2 button here the R2 and the Y it will take off so Let's see. Okay. Drone is in the air. All right, control. So let's go forward. I'm gonna move this thing forward. So it goes forward. Now go backwards. Go to the right. The remote, as I told you many times, is very jerky. So let me land this thing in there and just land the baby where is the where is the thing so land the baby so I use the application here so land and then it's landing there you go so it's, as you can see it's working it's working with the iPhone so the remote connects to the iPhone not to an Android phone so Fasca there you have it another video another solution after a while, I found out that this remote 
will not connect to an Android phone, only to an iPhone. So if you have only Android and you have a Tello, do not get this remote. You will waste your money. It's about 25 euros, between 25 and 30 euros, or 25 to 30 bucks. It will not work with your Android. No way, Jose. So it took me a while, as you could see in the video. This is the first time I tried it. Thank God I have also an iPhone, <laughs> so I can use this baby. All right, guys. So, you know, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like, and hopefully I'll come up with uh, more stuff soon. Have a nice day and enjoy.